as in the media have decided that Americans are somehow resistant to the idea of a lockdown. And I want to say, well, but we never really had a lockdown. No, God, we never no. had a lockdown. We never actually locked down. We never, re- you know, we never sort of um, redid classrooms. We never looked into ventilation systems. I mean, this is a country that has been in a slow stage of, de- you know, state of decline for so many years. So how are you going to now say that it's all about individual responsibility, which is what Biden and Harris, I mean, even the arrogance, right, which is to, you know, which is to say to people, if you can't find tests, just Google. <laughs> I'm like, right. Did you right. just tell me? Yeah. Did you just tell, for instance, elderly people who have a hard time not keeping the caps lock on? <laughs> <laughs> Are you yeah. actually telling those people to go Google and find out where the hell that is? Just to me, like that. That was just that was a moment, and I mean, it became viral for a reason because it's just like. You, you know, when you say Google it, that's kind of like saying fuck you to someone. You know what I mean? Like if someone asks you a question and you say, I don't know, Google it. It's it's saying fuck you. And everybody knows that. So when, yeah, when Harris says Google how to find a mask or Google how to find a test, they're everywhere. It's just like, God, that's the you're literally doing the least the least possible thing you could do. It's mm-hmm. uh, that to me is like a moment where I felt like, God, they're really got they're really not going to fucking do anything. They're just going to shake their hands. And it's, what's really odd in terms of just the straight, like cynical Democrat party politics of it is like Biden ran entirely on like, I'm going to save the world from the pandemic because Trump is fucking it up. Uh, and then a year later is like, well, ah, that's not much, much we can do, really. <laughs> well, he wants us. Yeah, they want us all to go back to work. Right. And again, thinking about Fauci and his you know, and and also and the CDC director who basically said, yes, we're going to cut the time back down to like five days because we want oh, people to go back to work. Yeah. Which is, and they call it normalcy. Um, I'm just horrified over and over again by just not only the cynicism, but their blatant awareness that of what they're doing. So they know that they're making logistical decisions, not health decisions right right they, they know it and they and that's the cdc and so loud. like w- when that happens and the cdc says oh you know what not 10 days actually five days I, I hear that and i'm like dude that is just ruthless political bullshit it has nothing to do with health whatsoever so now i'm i'm literally thinking in the same frame of thinking as the anti-vaxxer because i'm like the cdc is fucking full of shit and all they want to do is throw us back into the fucking mill um of this disease and 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 that, I think maybe that's the difference between like the anti-vaxxer and like I guess my position is that I take the disease, the disease really seriously, and 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 like a lot of anti-vaxxers are just like on this thing of like, well, just let it rip, and they seem like they're actually weirdly in tandem with uh, the Democratic Party that's in control right now. This is true. You're right. I mean, it is the same attitude, isn't it? Right. You know, if you just let it run through the population, it'll you, you'll be fine, which is exactly what the Democrats are, are trying to convince us of. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's I, I keep thinking, you know, how do how do people cope? How do you know, people can't resist People cannot say, I refuse to go to work. There aren't a lot of people who can actually make that choice, right? Um, what are the modes of resistance to that where you're not aligning yourself with, you know, bonkers, anti-vaxxers, certainly, and you're also not saying that the government has your best interests? Well, I mean, we've gone back and